Hi, my name is Scott Hansen. I'm the Managing Director here in Naples with BMO Private Bank. I wanted to talk to you today about some issues I see with people who are self-managed investors. The first is managing risk. Many people say that they are risk averse, but they're taking risks they don't understand. For example, in a rising interest rate environment, bond funds are a guaranteed money loser, as well as long duration individual bonds or a concentration in any stock, no matter, what t no matter what asset class it's in. The second would be asset allocation is an integral part of any investment strategy, regardless of your level of risk. The mistake here is chasing past performance. For example, looking to last year's best mutual funds and jumping in. The third would be fees. Self-investors often don't understand what they are paying for and how much they're paying. Mutual fund and annuity fees are very high, 90% of investors are not right for an annuity. Mortality expenses, surrender charges, income riders, and step-up death benefit all add up to at least three and a quarter percent, plus huge penalties to withdraw. The fourth would be an agenda. Those giving investment advice only online or in publications are speaking from a point of view or have an agenda. Investment advice should come from a face-to-face -face relationship at any asset level. For example, financial news experts who talk about a particular stock likely already own that stock. Fifth would be having goals on a short-term horizon. You cannot achieve long-term goals with a short-term strategy. Market timing almost always is a losing strategy. Have a long-term strategy and proper asset allocation and stick to it.